So, the stuff you need for this is a, a working laptop with, or any computer, with like Windows 10 or 11 or like, I don't know, anything will be fine. And most importantly, a USB flash drive with at least 6 gigabytes and you need to format it to NTFS, but I'll show you to do that later. So, what you gotta do is search up Xbox Offline System Update. Then you gotta click the link, or you could go to the description. Wait, wait for it to load. It might take a little bit, depending on your internet. And once again, you need a minimum of six gigabytes storage and format it to NTFS. Also, please note, this does not work on the original Xbox One. One last time, 60 gigabytes storage formatted as NTFS. Now, you gotta click on the link that says OSU1 in all caps. Then, a download tab should open up. And then this window should pop up. And then you can put it in whatever folder you want. Then, hit save and it should be downloading. So what you gotta do is right click on the USB drive and click format. And then make sure the file system is set to NTFS and you can name it whatever you want. And I, I'm naming it USB drive. And when you click start you should get a warning that it will formatting will erase all your data. So make sure you don't have any important data. So what on you gotta USB do drive. is right click on this folder that says OSU one zip and then click extract all. But I already have extracted, so I don't need to do it. And then you get a copy of this folder, the one that says system update, and paste it onto the USB drive. And then it should be transferring. And then that's it. When it's done transferring, you can right click on the USB. And then click eject to safely take the USB out without corrupting any files. That's it. So once you're in this menu, the offline system update button to highlight. Then you want to go and click it. And then this screen should pop up. This is preparing console. And then you're updating. And that's it.